Princess Diana's love life, especially in her final years, was a story of deep, conflicting emotions and complex relationships. While much public attention has focused on her romance with Dodi Fayed, the Egyptian heir with whom she was photographed in the months before her tragic death, a more intimate and secretive relationship occurred prior to this. Her connection with Haznat Khan, a Pakistani heart surgeon. Their love story began in 1995, in the aftermath of Diana's separation from Prince Charles. Diana was increasingly looking for solace in private life, away from the glare of public scrutiny. She found it in Haznat Khan, a man whose quiet, dedicated life as a doctor stood in stark contrast to the circus of royal life she had endured. They met in a hospital setting, where Khan's unassuming demeanor quickly drew Diana's interest. Unlike her previous suitors or the royals, Khan shunned the limelight, and this was a major part of his appeal to Diana, who by that point craved a normal, grounded existence. The relationship was kept secret for almost two years, with the pair often meeting in private, away from the intrusive gaze of the media. Diana would visit Khan at his modest apartment, and they even went as far as disguising themselves to maintain their privacy when venturing out. For Diana, this was more than just an affair. She felt deeply in love with Khan, seeing in him the possibility of a life free from the burdens of her royal title. She reportedly considered moving to Pakistan to be with him, even converting to Islam and starting a family. The princess's determination went so far that she allegedly sought advice from friends in Pakistan, asking how she might navigate the cultural and religious barriers that stood between her and Khan. However, it was precisely these barriers that ultimately spelled the end of their relationship. Khan, despite his affection for Diana, could not reconcile himself with the idea of being perpetually in the public eye. His family was also not in favor of the relationship. In their eyes, Diana, while globally adored, was not a suitable match for their son. They reportedly began pushing Khan toward more traditional marriage prospects within their own community, further complicating the already strained relationship. By mid-1997, Haznat Khan made it clear to Diana that he could not marry her. The constant attention that followed her every move was too much for a man who valued his privacy above all else. Diana, heartbroken, ended the relationship but remained deeply in love with him. Some reports suggest that her subsequent relationship with Dodi Fayed was not born out of genuine affection, but rather a desperate attempt to make Khan jealous. Despite this, her romance with Dodi became the focus of media frenzy in the summer of 1997, leading to her infamous death in Paris that August. Haznat Khan, in the years following Diana's death, has reflected on their relationship with a sense of bittersweet nostalgia. While he acknowledged the strength of their bond, he maintained that a life together would have been impossible given her fame. Khan has since lived a quiet life, far from the public eye, in keeping with his nature. This love story, hidden from the world during Diana's lifetime, reveals the depth of her desire to escape the pressures of her royal life and find personal happiness. It was a relationship filled with passion, secrecy, and cultural hurdles, and it came to a sad end just before the princess's life was cut tragically short. Even in her last months, as she sailed the Mediterranean with Dodi Fayed, Diana's heart may have still belonged to the Pakistani surgeon who offered her a fleeting glimpse of the normalcy she had always yearned for.